Hello, welcome to my channel, Connection of Lives and Interests. This is Sharon coming to you from my room to create in South Carolina. I hope you all are doing well today and have been enjoying creating, crafting, making fun for yourself and others. If you're new to my channel, please let me know in the comments below that you have subs so I can come and support your channel as well. And let me know how you found out about my channel because I always like to know. Okay, this is going to be a little this and that kind of video. I'm going to try to move it along. I actually brought a clock in here because I really don't like... I don't like not knowing what time it is. Okay, that just didn't seem like great wording. But anyways, okay, so I want to share things I'm working on. Um, this is um, a coffee filter where I took, we, we make the coffee and then when we're done with the coffee, I take the filter and I dump it out as much as I can while it's wet. And then I let it just sit and dry in the sun on a plate in the house. <laughs> and it just makes it easier for me. I like to do things, you know, work smarter, not harder. And this one, I, after it was drying, I kind of just rubbed it around and made it different. And then I, I take it over to the trash can and dump the um, residue off, kind of like I'm doing now. I did this um, a little bit different because this one seems to have more character on it from before that I did this. But um, I really just like the look. You can really just do different things to it just to see how you like it and that's what I do I like to play and learn experiment try new things you just don't know until you try and then when you're done oh your hands smell like coffee <laughs> okay and then if you are a gardener I don't know if you know this but coffee grounds are good for your plants just like uh, eggshells which I grind up in a blender type of thing and um, I spread it onto my plants so this is one that I wanted to show you that was drying and done and it dried and then I'll show you how they all come out different. Like this one just has a ring in the center because I didn't spread it out like the other one. And this one's kind of different too. It has some blotches of color on the sides. I like that they all come out different. Okay, now this one is the one I believe, no, it's on the last one, okay. So what I was gonna say is, I thought it was that one. This one is light colored. And the reason for that is I decided to try something new, which I always encourage you all to do. And instead of letting it just clump up on here, I just rinsed it off into the sink. Like I was just brushing off the ones off that filter. Instead of brushing it off, I rinsed it. And it just became a lot lighter, but it's not white either. Um, so that's what that one looks like. And the funny thing is, I like that they're all different. I like it when they crinkle. They have the wrinkles, which is, oh yeah, I just, feel, I just felt like doing that. Oh yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm happy I did that. Okay, so here we go. There's that one. I decided to come up with it, this smart idea of putting all of my coffee filters that I did that were dry and ready in a baggie, a Ziploc gallon baggie, just to slide it in and hang it up somewhere. And <laughs> I don't know where the first ones are that I did. So that's really fun. All right, moving on to the next thing. I've been using all of my hole punches and I did all of these last night of all different color papers and different things that I have. And what I did is I, I like to store them in these baggies, be, you know, kind of like matching them up some. I'm kind of skipping ahead of myself. I came up with this idea of putting color-coded stuff in the bag. So all my blues will be in a bag and my greens and my multicolor flowers and butterflies, and pinks, and orange and purple and green. So you get the idea. And... I like this. Um, if this is a this is the border that I found at Dollar Tree. So I've hauled some borders in other videos, and I said that you can use your hole punches or put it through your dye machine, and that's what I like to do. You get a lot of different things that you don't get in the stores, and I did these butterflies out of um, file folders, and I love the yellow. Oh, so pretty. My favorite color is blue, but the yellow is really nice too. Oh, um, purple, and these are um, small enough to be like confetti. And there's my red. So I got this container from Walmart. And as I've shared in other videos is don't forget to look in other sections in the stores when you're shopping for supplies or you're just passing the time. Go to the kids section, go to the games, go to the office part. You just never know what you'll find in those areas. And I bought this, this is from Penn Gear. I highly recommend, and I'm not sponsored, but highly recommend the Penn Gear. They have all kinds of containers and they lock really well they're clear and they're stackable so I enjoyed doing that and I've also used some other borders from Dollar Tree that I did these in and so I showed you these I did these all last night while I was watching tv and I had to be quiet and I wanted to show you also like I always say that 
use what you have. You don't need to go out and get the um, fancy toys. This is an old cover from when I was a teenager years ago. And this is the top. And I just took it off. This part's broken. This part goes in the back and shuts. And this is the part that went like this. So it... Well, anyways, this is a good size surface. And so I took my clear stamp and look how it ended up fitting on this cover. It was really good. So that's what I used for this. And then I have my other acrylic block that I shared in another video that is an old rubber stamp that I never really used. So look and see. I don't know where it is. But um, yeah, I mean, this worked perfectly. And when I use it, when I do my stamping, I like to put something that gives down so that you're not fighting to get something stamped. So say this is my rubber stamp and this is the cover and it's inked and I just, you know, it's it's better for me. If you're having problems with, you know, it being completely inked in, um, excuse me, um, you know, like sometimes you'll have part of it that's not going to stamp onto your, your paper or whatever. And it's not because you didn't put enough ink on it sometimes. Sometimes it's just that it needs to give because surfaces aren't all level level. So I just wanted to share that. And I like to do everything in threes. And so I've been stamping a few of the same things, cutting them out, getting things prepped and ready for gifts that I'm working on. And I have a lot of stuff going on. And this is something that I cut out of a card and I just reinforced it with um, index paper. And then if you send this as a cute card, you can put something on the back, your information. And I cut this out. What else do I want to show you? Let's see. When I look at this beauteous stuff, see this? These are all my scraps that I just freely put into the bucket from Dollar Tree. Very not sponsored, but you know, you can really utilize things very cheaply that you can get at Dollar Tree. And it holds up very well and it helps you keep your floor and your table clean that when you punch things out, cut things out, just put it in your basket while you're working. And there you have it. And then I did have something else I wanted to show you, but seemed okay, here it is. Things like to grow legs. So then when I'm I'm done at the end of the day and I have to be quiet watching TV or whatever, somebody's sleeping, I go ahead and I put those cuttings that I have in here into my, my bag. Did I just say I lost this? Well, anyways, if I did, I found it. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I have fun with that one. But what I wanted to share also is, hmm, okay, these, right? Look at, there's this, right? This flower puncher. And look at what I came across. This is mine from years ago and it's matchy matchy. So I can stamp this and have fun with the background with the cuts and just make them pop up with, um, you know, what is it called? Make it three dimensional or two dimensional. You know, you put your stickies, you know, what are those things called? You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, you know, you put it up and it, it raises it. I don't know. I can't think of what the word is. Dots and stuff like that. So that's fun. This paper right here looks like it's regular notebook paper. But what I wanted to tell you is I was surprised that this was in here because I bought packs of paper that had all of these color paper pads. Um, there's different designs, like four each or whatever in the bundle. And it was in the clearance and I bought them. I wasn't thinking that they weren't cardstock. You know, they, they're just, you know, papers they are not cardstock or anything. So that was like, okay, well, that's okay. It's still stuff you can use. It's pretty and everything. But in the middle, I don't really want to do that, but... In the middle of my paper pad, um, excuse me, but I got, and I know it's clearance, but still, I got false papers. I mean, I can use this. I can use the backside, but look at, it, it's stamped like that. Or maybe that's what they intended for us to have. I don't know, because it is three. If y'all have gotten paper pads on clearance, they have, um, they're not cardstock, but they're different designs, set up four, I believe, and you've gotten this inside, just if, please comment below if you know this is normal, because I'm, I'm not really sure. And I'm slowly putting pretty, pretty stuff in my room. And I came across this. This is a magnet that I bought my mommy years ago. And she passed away in July 2005. And everybody that bought stuff for her gets the stuff back if they want it. But I enjoyed buying magnets and things for my loved ones and friends. Okay, last but not least, I finally cut my own hair. Um, I've been doing it for years now. But I cut it for the first time in a while. And it really got long. So I got cut happy and I cut it sh the shortest I've ever had it as far as my cutting it and I can't believe what an inch more really does and then of course you're trimming it up and you know cutting it so that it lays good and all that so it's more than an inch 
So I'm working towards, not sponsored, but this is the color that I always enjoy wearing. And I got into coloring my hair because a friend of mine had a similar color to this and I fell in love with it. And I asked her if she would mind if I colored mine the same. And she said, oh no, that's fine. Because you know, women can be funny and some will be like, no, uh, this is me. This is me doing me. You find your own way of doing you. But I don't think that way. I think of it as a compliment. And I'm sure many of you out there feel the same way. It's like a compliment. You know, not that you're trying to copy them, but the, they're so beautiful. You just want to have it, you know? So it's like makeup and stuff, okay? Clothing. So I'm hoping to do that today. So this is the end of my video today. I believe I did everything I wanted to do. I'm having fun trying to catch up on getting a bunch of stuff cut out and prepped and trying to get a hold of the, um, get ahead of the game. I did send out my mom's gift that I did in my video share. So they were very, very, very excited. It was for my mother-in-law and they don't like for us to do anything for them, but I just can't, you know, go without doing something. And I like to show my love and appreciation for all the stuff they've done over the years for us. So making something from the heart, they never expect anything. They sing that they never want anything. So the pressure's off for me to not get it done. And of course, I'm going to be working on my next stuff. So I'm working towards having maybe two or three things going at the same time so I can switch off, do my hole punches, do cutting, doing painting, um, assembling, just, you know, whatever you're in the mood for, because you're not always the same mood. So I got to go check my molds because I ended up putting glitter in some new molds that I got. So I got to go check on them. I put them somewhere where I won't bother them and I forget about them. So I don't mess them up. Kind of like baking. You don't want the cake to drop if, you know, back in the day, they'd say, don't slam the door. Pfft the cake goes down or the pie or whatever. Okay. Thanks for being here. Be nice, be kind, be encouraging. Even from our homes through the internet, we can make people smile, laugh, and give encouraging words through the internet from wherever we are, our homes, our cars, our yards, and the stores, you name it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Have fun. Happy crafting. Bye.